lot of people that have had issues with uh, Windows 2000 and Windows 2000 server and Windows 2000 advanced server uh, being able to get the updates to install uh, even in this year 2022 uh, so I'm going to show you how to make sure that you can get those automatic updates to install on your Windows 2000 computer so the first thing you want to do I'm going to go ahead and log in and then I've put all of the updates that I'm going to have a link for in the description. I've put all those on this flash drive, which I'm going to go ahead and connect to this computer. And I'm going to go to my computer. And I'm going to go to the removable disk, which is the flash drive. And I've got two files. Uh, the first one we want to install is this WinZip 6.3. So go ahead and uh, click on Setup. Uh, click OK to install it. Click Next. Click Yes to agree to the license agreement. I typically do the WinZip Classic because it's easier. Click Next. And I just do an Express Setup. And go ahead and click Next and then you're finished installing. So now I'm going to go ahead and close WinZip and close this WinZip folder and now as you can see I've got Windows 2000 updates available. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tell it to extract it to and I'm going to click I agree and I'm going to choose to put it on the desktop and I'm going to create a new folder called Windows 2000 updates. Click OK and it automatically selected that folder and click extract. Okay now it's finished extracting so I'm going to close this window and this window and there's your Windows 2000 updates folder. I've tried to make it as easy as possible so we're just going to install number one then number two then three and four and so on. So the first one is Service Pack 4 for Windows 2000. So we're going to go ahead and install it. Uh, go ahead and click Next. I agree. Next. We don't need to archive the files. So you can just tell it not to and click Next. And it will take a couple minutes to install that. At this point, we want to go ahead and restart it so that those new files that it installed can take effect. So go ahead and click Finish. Your Windows computer will restart, and then once it restarts, we'll log in again and finish with step number two. Now that it's finished restarting, we're going to go ahead and log in. If you're not running Windows 2000 Server, you won't get this window. But if you are running it, just go ahead and close it. We don't need it at the moment. Now we're going to go back and we're going to do number two. This is basically Service Pack number five, even though they call it Update Rollup 1 for Service Pack 4. Um, so we're going to go ahead and click next and agree and it's just going to update it again and then we're going to restart after it finishes. Okay, go ahead and restart. If you get that error, it's okay. Just click OK. It'll update itself when you restart the computer and you won't get that error anymore. Now we're going to go ahead and do step number three, which is Internet Explorer 6. So at this one, I'm going to right click and tell it to extract, and it's going to put it on the desktop in this folder, Windows 2000 Updates, and it's going to create another folder called 3-IE6. And we're going to click Agree, and there's your folder. So I'm just going to go into that folder, 
go into this folder and then just start the IE6 setup. Um, you have to accept the agreement in order to install it. So we're going to do that. Click next. And go ahead and click next. And it's finished. So we're going to go ahead and click on finish. And it restarts the computer one more time. Now that we've finished 1, 2, and 3, we're going to go ahead and do 4, which is just a Windows Update Agent. It updates it to the newest version at the moment, so go ahead and click Next. I agree. Next. And it's finished. And now we're going to do a Roots Update. It only takes it a few minutes, a root certificates update. And then we're going to go ahead and import this registry update, which helps with um, the root certificates as well. Now, some of you may have VMware that you're using the Windows 2000 on. If you do, you can go ahead and install these VMware tools. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to install that too. Just double click on it. And then go ahead once it opens up. I'm going to click next, click complete, and click next and install. And then once it finishes, it'll have loaded all the video drivers, the audio drivers, the mouse, the keyboard, the internet, everything you could think of. And as you've noticed, it just loaded the video drivers, so it looks much better. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to uh, restart the computer as soon as it finishes this. And then we'll be able to uh, get the rest of the Windows updates. Great, now we're going to go into Start, Settings, Control Panel, and we have Automatic Updates, and what we're going to do is we're going to let it download them, but you can choose when you want to install them, and just click Apply, and click OK, and give it just a little bit of time, and you will have updates waiting for you down here, and you can just double click on them and start installing them. It'll take a little bit of time though for them to show up but you'll be able to get all the updates for Windows 2000. I hope that helped. Thanks so much. Uh, please like and subscribe, and hope you have a great day.